like to welcome you to our new show, Straight Up. We are your hosts. I'm Frank. And I'm Anita. We are excited about these new recipes I have concocted and thrilled to be able to share them with you and with our friends. For the dessert, we are having the Honey Amaretta Coffee Ice Cream. And we start with a good vanilla bean ice cream, good rich vanilla bean. And we have instant coffee, our homemade amaretta, and of course our raw honey. So we go to the microwave, we get a little bit of, uh, what would I say, about a third cup of water, filtered water, hot. Good. Now to this hot water, let's add seven, I'll go with seven this time, seven teaspoonfuls of instant coffee. And one for good measure. Good. Now we'll dissolve that. And pour that into the bowl. Next we add the honey so that it dissolves. And we need two tablespoons of honey. And there we go. Scoop that off. And then our amaretta. We will add one half of a cup of homemade amaretta. That's the that's my favorite part. And we like to recycle old wine bottles, so this is a Garrett's wine bottle from who knows when. And here we go with the homemade amaretta. And we will show you how to make homemade amaretta on an upcoming segment. Oh, that smells so good already. Now, we'll take the whisk and we're going to, well, you have to have a stiff whisk for this. So we'll get a stiff one that I can go short handed with. And as you can see, the honey is slowly dissolving into this hot water solution. We didn't want to use too much water because we don't want water crystals in the ice cream. So the least amount of water you can use, the better. There we go. That should do it. Now to that, we're going to dump our ice cream, which is a good whole bean, vanilla bean ice cream. There. That wasn't too messy. I'm going to just break out the container. We're going to use, reuse the container by pouring the contents back in. And you'll notice that when you pour it back in, it won't fill the container up. And that's because they add a lot of air to the ice cream and the air is all puffed up. So now here's the fun part. With the whisk, we break up all of the ice cream clump and slowly whisk in all of our ingredients. We don't want it to spill, so we be very careful. Slow, short strokes is good to start with until the ice cream is broken down. There we go, it's almost done. Oh, that looks good. We want to make sure we get everything off the bottom and the sides. So push very hard with the whisk and use the whisk as a scraper. There we go. Now, I'm going to pour back into the container and then put this back into the freezer. And I'll finish scraping out. Don't want to waste any of this good, delicious dessert. Huh. Look at there. 
we put enough fluid in there so that it filled it up, which is good. If I can gently get that back to the freezer, we'll be in good shape. That fourth a cup is uh, all it took. Alright, there we go. Back to the freezer. Do the six hours in advance so that you can have the ice cream ready and it will refreeze. Now it's time to finish the dessert. And we've already baked the pastry shells, so we'll take one pastry shell and place it in the center of each of the dessert dishes, like such. Next, we get the ice cream from the freezer and we're going to put one scoop of this homemade Amretta coffee ice cream in each of the pastry shells. Rock honey. And we want to drizzle this over the top of the ice cream and the plate. A little extra on the Then we'll take a little tea strainer with a little bit of uh, powdered sugar and gently tapping, we will give a little dusting. And the dessert is complete. <laughs>